Tyler? Oh yeah. There's a few that I passed up on the way up here too. Yeah, I know, I saw. Right here would be one of them. Yep. Probably part of the same rock. It very well could be. I think they dug this up when they plowed up here. Take a look at this guys. Look at the amount of crystals and all that good stuff on here. Very cool. Let's check out this one up here. See if the trees are where you need it to be. What's going on guys? Tyler Wood Bushcraft here. Today I'm joined by Colin with Kincade Outdoors and we're going to be doing an overnighter at a place I've been anxiously awaiting to get to. Oh, we got firewood. <laughs> and we got firewood, awesome. Yeah, this is beautiful. I am at Yellow River State Park. Um, I'll give you guys all the information and try and show you guys a, a map of where I'm at. We're going to do some trout fishing. I'm going to do some hammock camping. Colin's gonna be setting up his tent, oh, yeah. and we found the Take perfect spot. spot. This is nice, I like it. From, uh, right between those two trees here, maybe? No, not this one, this one. And that one? Maybe? Yeah. Or that one and that one. Let's see, where are you gonna set yours up at? I want to go a little bit more level for me. So probably right up in here. Yeah. I mean, uh, having a fire down there is not a bad thing. Right. Keep the food, you know, stuff away from our trees, our encampment. Look at that Yes. I like this spot right here. Let me see, I got a pickup over here. Widowmakers are not a good thing. No. Seriously. It smells like firewood. <laughs> it smells like barbecue. Alright you guys, I'm going to be setting up my hammock for this trip. Colin's using his tent. He's got the uh, French Scout. French Army Commander. French yeah. Army Commander. Commando. But that's okay. Colin's got the French Army Commando tent going on. And uh, I thought about bringing my tent, but you know, the weather's getting nice. And you know, I just, I don't know. I, there's something about hammock that I just, I, I can't get over. So. I'm going to use my tree straps for this setup. Uh, hopefully they're going to be the perfect length to go from this tree to this tree. And I'm going to set a tarp up over top for shelter for the night because it was talking about raining. But right now the weather is just perfect so let's go ahead and get everything set up. Your hammock, you always want to check above, make sure there's no little makers up there, nothing that's going to fall, crush you, hurt you, anything like that. Like I said, I'm still going to run with the uh, the tarp tonight just in case it does rain. Uh, it's going to drop down to about 40 degrees tonight, so uh, I got a sleeping bag that's rated just for that temperature. I forgot I put my side one down already. I'm going to have to just go to the end of this and see what that's looking like. So something just like that and voila we have our tent set up. 
I just take this extra loop right here. Just kind of run around like that. So our hammock's set up now. And Colin's getting his set up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera back here for you guys as I set the tarp up. So I hope you guys enjoy. Recording? Yes, we are recording. Came up with an idea while I was setting this up. Oh yeah? Yeah. I have these loops on the end of my thing here. So I decided to put my poles right down through the loops. It also does the doubles as an extra stake. Oh, okay. There so you go. keep them in place. Because they already go in the ground. So it's like double stakes on the ends. Alright, for the tarp that I'm using, if you guys haven't been watching all my videos, this is a DD tarp uh, by DD Hammocks. They make really awesome uh, tarps and hammocks and stuff. The, the hammock that I am uh, running right now is an Inu hammock. That will be changing here soon when I have uh, a sponsor that's hooking me up with a new hammock. And uh, I'm going to try that out and see how it goes. Uh, also, I will be giving one of these hammocks away, this Inu hammock, and I will be giving away a bushcraft knife. So stay tuned and I'll give you guys all the all the rules and how to enter into winning this little giveaway that's going to be at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Have to give me a collapsible camp grill. Yeah. All right, next we're going to take out our outdoor vitals pillow. I can't sleep anywhere without this now. How much did those go for? These go for about 15 bucks. Where'd you get that? Uh, OutdoorVitals.com. Okay. Yeah, shameless plug. So had to do it. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, these things are amazing, and they pack down so easy. You, you forget them. That you forget that they're in your. So we're gonna get a fire going and this is all new this whole area they added uh, to this camp site is all new so uh, we're gonna be the first ones using this that's why you guys see a lot of grass and everything else going in there I'm gonna be using some of the black and white uh, by black and white fire starters uh, it's getting dark and uh, we need to get a fire going so we can get some food going and then try to go fishing so I'm just gonna dump that in there here's what it looks like for all you guys and uh, we're gonna get it going what I plan on using is my trusty uh, Strike Force ferro rod. I do have a new one coming. Hopefully, it'll be here Monday. It's supposed to be here before the trip. So let me go ahead and get this zoomed in real quick. There we go. Okay. Oh, you got it. I was gonna offer you mine, but no, I got busting in your neck, anyways. 
They have piles of wood over there. Right. Branches and what, what have you. The beauty with the uh, black and white fire starters is you don't have to do the old thumb trick method when you get your kindling and stuff. You can just throw these right, big sticks right on and she'll take them off and then we'll keep going bigger and bigger. Plus all the added leaves that are in here right now really helps. So we will be in motion. Luckily this campsite that we picked had a lot of wood already split up for us. So uh, we, are, we are safe there. Grill, I know it's not ready yet, but we can get everything yeah. set up for the uh, hanging of the grill. perfect for the wood squad community right here yeah all this big open area right here for all of us yep and someone or what is it the i imagine it's the county that built this lean to yep it's not the best but throw a tarp or two in front of it oh yeah golden look at the size of the fire ring too they got a huge fire ring and each campsite actually comes with a bench. That's amazing. Like I said, we can always acquire a couple benches if we needed to. Wow. Wood squad area? Possible? Yes. Very possible. And if anybody doesn't like sleeping on directly on the ground. Nice built lean to. Just a little on mine, if you would, please, when you get yeah. a chance. A little bit more. That's good. Here, we'll flip it over. I must be in a good spot. Yeah. That's good. Okay. I'm, I've tried steak sauce, but it's too salty. I can't deal with the salt. The right kind of steak requires no sauce at all. I know. It was good. All right. So, our steak is done. I got it my little MSR pot. Colin says it tears off easy. So that's a bonus. I got some hot dogs I uh, put on there too. I haven't had a good hot dog and I don't even know how long. So. And a piggly, piggly wiggly steak. At a Piggly Wiggly's. Yeah, just right inside of Wisconsin. And uh, happy birthday, Tyler. I appreciate it. It is my birthday.
I've never tried to roast a, a potato before. <laughs> oh, this will be the first, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll share it with you if you're interested. Oh, sorry. No problem. As I said, if, you know, if it comes out, I'll give you half. Mm. I am going to move some of these hot dogs off because I don't like mine charred. <laughs> that steak is good. I'm going to put them on the back burner over here. Oh, I know. I can't even get those ones off. That's why I have a fork. I forgot my fork at home. Well, I offered my fork. Did I not? You did. I'm going to go uh, bare grills and just go all in with the hands. Yeah, but at least it's cooked. True. He wouldn't cook it. If it's not bloody, it's not, I'm not eating it. That's usually how I eat my steaks, too, when they're moving and kicking. <laughs> uh, not me. Mm. I usually eat mine medium well. Steak and hot dogs. <laughs> That's the complete opposite of each other. Yeah. He doesn't realize he's watching us as much as we're watching him. <laughs> Alright you guys, it's officially night time, we're calling it a night, we had some really good steak and some hot dogs, just talking about doing some uh, meetups, doing like the whole wood squad meetup and um, talking about some of you guys, we're talking about Carolyn and talking about uh, Quebec Homestead, Mallory, uh, Trail Trash, um, we're talking about uh, Damage 85 William. Um, Cliff, uh, uh, we were talking about all you guys and, uh, just how cool everyone is and really hoping that we can start getting these, uh, local meetups and, uh, see what happens. So I'm going to call it night and we'll see you guys in the morning. Next morning's here. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick up or not, but it's raining. Um, I didn't record the whole wake up in the hammock, you know, anything like that. Uh, it, it started raining probably like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning last night. And uh, it's just been raining nonstop. So uh, packed everything up. I didn't record it. I didn't want to get my camera wet. Uh, I had my drone out too, so I packed everything up and hurried up and rushed it down to the car. Colin's fixing to grab his last bit of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm waiting on him and then we're going to be heading out. It sucks. We didn't get no breakfast. Uh, you know, I didn't get to have a nice, relaxed, you know, morning around the campfire because everything was just soaked. It probably rained a good two, three inches out here. Um, still raining. So, we're down by where we parked the vehicle. But even though with the crappy weather, I still love it. I still love doing all this. Hope you guys find this video fun, entertaining, uh, nice and peaceful, relaxing, all that stuff. Uh, my hands are like just like froze solid right now. So, yep, I'm excited. Ready to hit back, head home. That was a long four and a half hour drive just for an overnight, but hey, you know, it was worth it. It was worth it. Didn't get no fishing. So, it's all right. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Yes, look how smooth everything stays. For half a second here, I thought I saw a tent out there on one of the... Uh -huh.